We've traveled the country in search of the mad geniuses who've taken their love of cars and food to the extreme. Partnering with Mobile One, the experts in delivering performance beyond expectations, we've found culinary connoisseurs who've created the most mind-blowing grills. Mobile One presents Extreme Grillers. My passion are old cars, old Porsches in particular. Nine years ago, bought one old car which led to another, started working on them. What I love about the old Porsches in particular is they kept their style for so many years and they didn't change it. And if they did, they did so gradually. I was looking for a rear clip as an extra part for, for a wrecked car and came across this guy in Arizona. 1962, a 356B, they call it. That year of car ended in 1965. Drove over there, dragged it back here. Next thought was take this car part and turn it into a barbecue pit, a true barbecue pit, instead of a, a spare part. That's when I picked up the phone and I called Damien. Got an old Porsche, when I turn it into a barbecue. Told him to bring it on over and we'd brainstorm more when he got to the shop. He's pretty ingenious, Damien. I call him Atlas. Because he can take about anything and make it, make it workable. It wasn't functioning. And that's what he wanted to do, is actually make it work as a functioning barbecue. Actually cook some food on it. You know, I didn't dare tell anybody I was going to do this because the okay. Porsche community wouldn't support that idea. It's something other than what it was intended to be. You've got to modify, you've got to cut metal, you've got to strip the car, replace windows. The coolest thing to me about the, the barbecue pit is the side window that opens up and it's a little boiler cooker for beans or corn. For the best beans in town, cooked on a Porsche. The other side is the controller for the airbags. It lifts itself up and it'll hold that position for about six, seven hours. And then you've got to pump it back up again. But the biggest thing was to make it functional and wick the heat away in such a way that it wouldn't blister the paint. Steven had a heat gun, so we just did a lot of trial and error. We added stainless steel because it looks great. Even when it gets hot, it still looks great. And to try to get all this area uh, to disperse the heat instead of having the body absorb the heat. Voila! It was a lot of fun. It was great fun having Steven in the shop and going back and forth with different ideas and inventing it into what it is now. If I were to do this again, I'd do it exactly the same I did. Yeah, there, there wouldn't be anything to change. Barbecue is very important to my husband. He was pretty much raised cooking meat. Good Memphis barbecue would be something that's been basted a hundred times. It's gotta be cooked slow. 